So this past Nintendo Direct was wild. We got the announcement of a new Mario Party, a new Zelda game, a Donkey Kong Country Returns port, which kind of looks a little bad, and we got the announcement of something that I was looking forward to for a very long time, a new Mario and Luigi game. And let's just say I was just a little bit excited for it, just a little bit. Yes! Oh my goodness! Yes! I had been asking for this game to come out for such a long time, and to see it be revealed as the first announcement, it really, really blew me away. But then it got me thinking afterwards, wait, hold up. We've got all three of the popular Mario RPGs on the Switch. We got Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, we got Paper Mario a Thousand Year Door that just came out recently, and now we have a new Mario and Luigi game. And it got me wondering, what if Nintendo is doing a Illumination style thing, where they look at the game that sells the best, and based on that, they will either continue making that game franchise, or they'll discontinue it. Now obviously, Paper Mario is insanely popular there's been there's been a paper mario game on every console since the n64 except for the except for the ds that, that's what that's what mario and luigi was for but every console has had a paper mario game now for the mario and luigi games those have usually been on uh, more of a handheld thing you know the ds had a bunch of them and the 3ds did as well and now it's coming on the switch so what i think nintendo might be doing here is sort of testing the waters and seeing which one performs best because we have three of the Mario RPGs I think obviously Mario Super Mario RPG that's a little bit more of a niche and that's like like all three of these games play differently they're all Mario RPGs but they're all different and so Nintendo is testing to see which ones do best and if Mario and Luigi doesn't sell that well because obviously uh, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story the 3DS remake sold incredibly poorly it was almost the worst selling mario game of all time um yeah it came out the same day as new super mario Bros. u deluxe so it was pretty much overshadowed completely if the mario and luigi game doesn't sell over a million units which you know it's on switch so maybe it won't but like maybe over three million i don't know if nintendo will continue the mario and luigi franchise it might cut off they might just discontinue it cut it off right there done so um, yeah, I could be completely wrong because Nintendo, you know, they're unpredictable. Nintendo is Nintendo, but guys, please go out and buy Mario and Luigi Brothership. Uh, please, I don't want the franchise to die. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.